So for TVs this year, we're thinking bigger and brighter. By bigger, we mean probably 65 inches and higher. You want a bigger TV to maximize the effectiveness of 4K. 4K on a smaller TV is wasted, basically. To really get the benefit of the high resolution of 4K, you need a larger set. The benefit of a brighter television set is increased HDR performance, and HDR stands for high dynamic range. So the problem with the lower priced uh, HDR sets is they haven't been bright enough to really showcase the HDR image. If these television sets are brighter, then you'll be able to see the benefits of HDR. With OLED TVs, those are generally our highest performers, but they're a little bit on the expensive side. One of the reasons why OLEDs are so expensive is because there's literally two companies on the planet that make them. That's LG and Sony. Uh, and so we're not sure if more manufacturers are going to get into this. Uh, but if they do, that could lower prices. And that's something we'll be keeping a very close eye on at CES, whether or not there'll be more manufacturers making OLED TVs. What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? And uh, they must not know my subscribers. Who in the hell is paying $7,000 for a TV right now? That was an excerpt from CES, the Consumer Electronics Show out in Las Vegas. It happens every year. And they're going through some of the great trends in electronics. And we're going to go through the trends that we think are going to happen in the streaming world. Because if you're going to have that high dollar ass TV, you got to have streams with it. And if you're just now finding my channel for the first time, please go ahead, click that subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I drop a video. Let's get into it. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. This damn all everything. Sex is hell host of the Life Game channel, Lamont Tyson. And we're talking what are going to be the trends in the streaming world, the cord cutting world for 2018. I had to get me a note card so I can stay on mission. My grandma always said, a prepared man is a successful man. And I want to be successful for you guys in 2018. So I want to talk about some of the things that might be happening this year based on things that happened last year in cord cutting. One thing that we noticed was this big expansion of Android devices and streaming devices as the, we started to see Amazon Fire Sticks kind of take a nosedive. And one reason for that is because the Fire Stick itself has just not been the best device over the last couple of years. When it first came out, everybody was hiding on it, but they just haven't keeping up with the trends of some of these great um, 4K streaming devices that are out there in the world right now. So that's one thing. And I want you guys to get active on this conversation. Let me know what you think are going to be trends in 2018. And one thing I think that's going to happen from that is just more streaming devices. That's trend number one. And number two, just the sheer growth of cord cutters. I read a stat somewhere saying that the movie industry theaters have taken such a decline from 1990. And a lot of it has to do with cord cutting. Well, I'm sure the hell it does. When it costs you more money to go to the damn movie theater for a family of four than what it costs you to go to a minor league baseball game, ladies and gentlemen, there is a problem. Technology has allowed us to have more frequency, more choice, more advocacy for your own household than what a lot of these companies would like you to have. And it has pretty much eliminated that pure, simple monopoly that they get in front of a camera and tell you they love capitalism, but they're a fucking monopoly. They love to do that shit. Now, they just do that on the regular. But technology has allowed that to hold true. And so what do you think about the growth of cord cutting? It's just going to get bigger. And I think with that growth, you're going to start seeing more and more streaming services out there. There are some great underground live TV services. There are some great above ground live TV services. And I think you're just going to start to see more and more of that in 2018. So stay on the lookout. I'm going to let you guys know about that. The next thing we're going to cover is there was somewhat of a little bit of attack on developers that do underground add-ons in the Cody. I think you guys know about my man that did TV add-ons. They came after him. They didn't get them on anything because this is a gray area. Um, you know, people call it piracy, whatever, whatever you want to call it. If you download this stuff, that's when you have an action that'll get you in trouble. 
but streaming long as it ain't kitty porn I mean what can they say but I do think because Netflix some of the movie theaters some of the movie companies and TV companies they are pretty frustrated about this whole thing and I think you might see more legal action taken against developers hell you might even see them come after YouTubers that show you how to get this stuff um, only thing I can say is just keep your eyes out for that because this streaming market is what has allowed people to just stay home in the comfort of their own home and not go out there and hand over their firstborn children to these monopoly ass movie theaters so just be on the lookout for that be aware if your favorite youtuber comes under attack be prepared to support them because it might happen as a scare tactic because they don't want you guys knowing about this stuff and last but definitely not least. What do you think is gonna be the future of gaming devices in the streaming world? As you guys might have seen over the last couple of days, Xbox has now allowed Kodi version 18 to be put on their devices. And do you think this is gonna become the standard for your video game consoles? Are more video game consoles gonna start allowing you know, these third party add-ons and add-ons such as Kodi to be put on their devices so that people have their complete media and entertainment system at their home. I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, you know, with the increased technology in TVs and gaming devices, literally there's almost no reason to leave your home for entertainment. You know, you can do better at home watching a football game and in most cases movies, that type of content in the comfort of your own home with the great technology that we have. So you guys let me know, those are the trends we're gonna be following in 2018 in the cord cutting streaming world. Let me know what you all are gonna be following in the comment section below. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Glad to get yourself a life game. Follow me on Twitter, links is in the video description. Follow me on Facebook, link is down there as well. And if you wanna become a Patreon and support this channel, 50 cent works. Give a brother 50 cent, We'll keep cooking you up with great content. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by life gains.